Hi there, and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing um, stoichiometry and basically more concept, um, which is going to be our first video in stoichiometry. So I target stoichiometry part one. And um, you see, mole is um, a very important concept in um, stoichiometry because it helps us to understand every other aspect of um, stoichiometry because stoichiometry deals with quantifying in fact the word stoichiometry is going from two greek words which means stoichion which are stoichion and metry you see the word stoichion means element and this one means measurement right so all those words geometry measurement of um of the size of the shape the side the you know all those words are in this metry metry trigonometry that's measurement of triangle you know so measuring measurement is that okay we are measuring elements so we're trying to quantify elements that are um, in the particular compound or in the particular reaction and the rest of that and we use different terminologies for quantifying we use different terminologies for quantifying we use the mole we use mass we use volume concentration etc is that okay so starting with the mole we help us understand um some other um terminologies that are used in quantifying all right let's get into it now, what is a mole? You see, by definition, mole is quite cumbersome to understand because um, it doesn't come um, in the terminology that it doesn't come in a simple terminology. And in fact, it's defined as the um, amount of chemical substances that contain um, as many elementary units as there are atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. Now, that is not very easy to wrap your head around. So, that is why I'm going to be giving it a, a a simpler definition of a mole in this video and it's going to help you to understand how to work with mole and in fact in fact I have here with me um, just some eight questions that are going to be solving um, under the mole concept and you know that will help us to have a good grasp of what a mole is and I promise you it is very simple but let's get to it now if I told you, for example, if you, uh, for example, you had a parent that sold, uh, that wet, that you have parents that are selling, um, you have parents that are selling, uh, what's it called, food stuff, for example, and I come to your shop and I say, give me a crate of egg. Now, if, for example, if per adventure you don't have the actual crate of egg. Now, how many eggs will you give me? Let's, let's assume that you have, the, you have enough eggs in stock, but you just don't have that crate, that physical crate. Now, how many eggs are you going to give me? You're going to give me 30 eggs. 30 eggs. Why? Because I said a crate of eggs. I mean, these are measured here in Nigeria anyway. So, so if I say give me a, a crate of eggs, I mean 30 eggs. If I said give me, now, if I said give me a dozen eggs now a dozen egg is now what does the word dozen represent in this context i mean what does dozen generally represent dozen represents 12. so if i say give me a dozen of eggs you give me what 12 eggs is that clear now if i said if i asked you how many what did you score in your exam i said i had a score um i had 18 out of a score so it means so it means i have i had 18 over 20 why because a score represents what 20 is that okay all right so now those words when you hear them create dozen score certain numbers certain numbers come to our mind is that okay so the same way whenever you hear a mole now it is very simple just listen to me Whenever you hear a mole, what should come to your mind is 602 hextrillion atoms. Is that okay? Atoms. And what does that represent? Now, this is 6.02 by 10 to the power 23 atoms or particles or molecules. Is that okay? So when you hear a mole of a substance, it means, it means if I say one mole of a substance, it means 602, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of that substance. 
Is that okay? So just like dozen represents 12 represent dozen, or crate represent 30, or score represent 20, the same way a mode represents this number. Is that okay? Now, understanding it this way is going to make you um, um, be able to attend to many different questions in um, stoichiometry. Now, so what does this mean? Now, for example, I now say, I now say, now, what does, what does one mole mean? Now, you would say that it means this number. But essentially, one mole means that um, a standard mass, a particular standard mass that is called the molar mass of an element now, of an element or of an atom, um, of an element, of an element. A particular standard mass of an element is going to contain this amount of atoms. Let me explain that. If I ask you, for example, what is the molar mass of sodium? Sodium has a molar mass of 23. Now, now what does this mean? This means that 23 grams of sodium will contain this amount of atoms. Oxygen has a molar mass of 16. It means that 20, 16 grams, we have what? This number of atoms. Now, what is the molar mass of of carbon 12 is 12, of course, 12 grams. 12 grams of carbon, we have what? A, um, a total number of atoms of what? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. That is the number of atoms that are present in what? In carbon. One mole of carbon. Why? Because one mole of carbon is 16 grams. That, that is why it is called the molar mass. In fact, it's given by grams per mole. That is, one mole of this guy, sodium, contains. 23 grams. Is that okay? Um, magnesium, magnesium 24 grams per mole. This means that that one mole of magnesium contains what? 24 grams. Do you understand? Now, usually, in so some people are usually confused about uh, in some cases you see 24 ordinarily, other cases you see 24 grams, other cases you see 24 grams per mole. What is the difference? Now, when we are solving and you are asked to just find the RAM. Uh, Meritor atomic mass of 20 of sodium. Now you can you can easily just write 24 grams. I have 24 without adding a unit. Is that okay? All right. Now, because it's in fact measured in atomic mass units. Now, the this guy, the this other guy, 12, 24 grams. Now, when you are asked to tell the molar mass of this, you can easily say 24 grams and eyeball the mole. It is when we need to convert that this unit are very, very essential. They are actually essential, but you see, they are, they are the same. They refer to the same thing. Do you understand? Only that the terminologies are what's different. So when I say one mole of, of magnesium, it means it's a, we, are, we are talking about what? 24 grams of, mag, of um, magnesium, or we say 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. This 24 grams is equal to what? One mole of magnesium. And one mole of magnesium, will contain how many atoms? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. And 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms mean what? 24 grams of magnesium. Since 24 grams of magnesium is what? One mole. You can therefore say that, say that one mole of magnesium contains what? 24 grams. Do you understand? All right. Um, I hope you have gotten the basic idea there. So if you are asked to solve a question, for example, what you have to do is this. If you have to solve, required to solve a question using, I'm talking about mode. Now, by the way, this number, this 6.02 times 10 to the power, uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, is known as Avogadro's number. It is abbreviated as N sub A. It's known as Avogadro's number. Is that okay? Now, so if you ask to solve a question like this, you already know that the standard molar mass of a substance, which is one mole of a substance, the mass of one mole of a substance, is going to contain this amount of atoms. You are not given, for example, that how many moles, I have such questions here, but I just want to show you how easy it is. People find it hard, but it's actually easy. If I say, how many atoms, for example, are there in nine grams of carbon 12, of carbon? Now, what is the molar mass of carbon? 
Now you are given nine grams of what? Of carbon. Now, in one mole of carbon, how many grams do we have? You already know that one mole of carbon will contain what? 12 grams. Isn't it? Therefore, how many moles will, con will be in nine grams? Do you understand? So you basically do what? You cross multiply. Now what do you have? 12 grams times x is equal to nine grams times one mole. So what do you have? Divide by size by 12 grams over 12 grams. And what do you have? X to be equal to what? Grams cancel grams. I have one over, I mean, three over four moles. That would be 0 0.75 moles of what? Of carbon. Is that okay? Now, that is the number of moles. So, if you ask to calculate how many atoms are there. So, what you basically say, in one mole, the standard is one mole. Is that okay? In one mole, how many atoms do we have? In one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 what? atoms. Is that okay? So, how many atoms will now be in 0 0.75 mole? Is that okay? You say it's equal to what? One mole is this. So, 0 0.75 mole that you got now, that is inside 9 grams, will be equal to 1. And then you do what? Cross multiply still. So, you have x times 1 is x, is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 times what? 0 0.75. And what does that give you? All right. I'm basically going to just do 6.02 times 0 0.75. And this gives us 4.5. 4.52 times 10 raised to the power 23. And that is the answer. So, and this answer makes sense because you see atoms, atoms. And this answer makes sense. Why? Because you see that this number is less than this number. Showing you that the amount of mole we are talking about is not up to what? One. Do you understand? All right. So, now there's a way you could have gone directly. The other side, you did it. You need, you need it not to solve this much. You have. How many atoms are there in 9 grams? All you have to do is say, you know that the standard is one mole contains this, right? And one mole of, ca of carbon is what? 12 grams of carbon, isn't it? So one mole of carbon, which is 12 grams of carbon, is equal to 6 by what? 0 to by 10 to the what? 23. So you now say, therefore, 9 grams will contain how many? X. Do you understand? Then you cross multiply and you have X equal to um, 9 by 6.02 by 10 to the 23rd over what? 12. And by the time you do this, you're going to get what? The same answer. X will be equal to that same thing. 4.5 by 10 to the what? 4.52 by 10 to the what? Um, power 23 atoms. Do you understand? It is as simple as that. Notice that my, my answers are in um, three significant figures. Three significant figures. So, um, you should be able to put your answers in three significant figures in um, your exams. All right, I'm going to write a few questions on the board now, and we are going to be attempting them. All right, so we're going to be solving these five questions first, and one more that you are going to see on the thumbnail. Now, calculate the mass of ion present in um, in in zero point zero two five mole of ion filings. Now. You see, the question is incomplete. You are going to be given the molar mass of, of iron, and that is, I think, is 56 molar mass of iron, yes? So you have, so you are supposed to calculate the mass of iron that is present in this mole. So what you ask yourself is, in one mole, the standard is one mole, is that okay? So you ask yourself, in one mole, number one, in one mole of that iron, what is, how many mass? What, what is the mass of that of one mole? What is that mass? The mass of one mole is 56 grams per mole. Is that okay? Good. So, since, since if you have one, um, one mole contains 56 grams or weighs 56 grams, therefore, 0 0.025 mole will weigh how much? That's all. That is, it's as simple and as clear as that. But you definitely have to do this what? Cross multiply, you have x will be equal to what? 56. Uh, for now, I'm going to eyeball the, uh, the units because they will cancel out and you know what you're working towards. Your answer is going to end up in a gram. In grams, is that okay? 
because mold is going to come to mold. So we have 6 by what? 0 0.025. And x will be equal to what? Um, I think that will be 0 0.025. So this will be 1.4 grams um, from just the cross multiplying. Is that okay? Now the next question, number two, says that how many atoms of sodium are there in four grams of the metal? Four grams of the metal. So now, how many atoms are there in four grams of the metal? So what you ask yourself. Now you see this one is giving in grams. 40 grams, I'm sorry. 40 grams of the metal. Now this one is giving in grams. So what you don't you don't have to be scared still. You are still you are still going to use mold to begin with. All you ask yourself is how much mass is in one mole? How much mass is one mole? 23 grams, isn't it? So 23 grams represents one mole, isn't it? And we know that one mole contains how many atoms? One mole, which is now 23 grams of this guy, contains what? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. Is that okay? So this is how much atoms 23 grams contain. Therefore, 40 grams will now contain how much? 40 grams now contain what? X. So you cross multiply and you have what? So we cross multiply here actually. So when you cross multiply here, what do you have? 40 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 over 20 over 23 um, is equal to x. So that x is equal to this. So we are going to have 40 times 6.02. 40 times 6.02, that is then divided by 23, divided by 23, that will give us 10.46, now that's 10.47 times 10 to the power what? 23. When you multiply this and this divide by this, is that okay? So times 10 to the power 23. So what we do is we move this guy here. So by moving it, we are going to have x because of 1.04. So since it's three signal figure, we can even stop at 1.05. Is that okay? 1.05 times 10 raised to power what? 20. Now because I moved it once, that was 24. Is that okay? Because we moved it to the back once. So and that is our answer. Atoms. This is the amount of atoms you have in 40 grams. And you ask yourself, does this question, does this answer make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Because you see this value is bigger than what? 6.0 to 19 to the power 23. And the grams you are giving is greater than the normal, um, than one mole. So the answer makes sense. Is that okay? All right, the next one says, if 0 0.123 mole of an element X weighs 8.0 grams, what is the RAM of X? Very simple. All you have to do is this. It says that 0 0.123 this question three, zero point one two three moles weigh how much? Eight grams. So we can just write eight grams there. Eh? It now says, what is the RAM of X? All you have to do is this. What is asking there is just what's the molar mass? Is that okay? RAM means relative atomic mass. Is that okay? The difference now is that you will not add any unit. You will not put units. Now, what you have is what? Zero point one two three. So you now say in one mole will contain what? That's what you asked. One mole is area of that thing. Is that okay? So we're gonna have we are gonna cross multiply and we have that what x will be equal to x times this will be equal to 0 0.123 x is equal to 8. Is that okay? So that we have x will be equal to what? 8 over 0 0.123 moles. Alright? 8 grams. So, um, we are going to have x to be equal to what? So, 8 divided by 0 0.123. So, 8 divided by 0 0.123 is equal to 65.04. That's 65.0 essentially. So, 65.0 gram. So, we are not going to add any of this. And this is the answer, 65.0. Is that okay? All right. And that's it. That's it for that question. Question four says that how many moles, how many moles are in 9.03 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of sodium? Okay, very simple. All you ask yourself is this. It says how many moles are in this amount of sodium, this amount of atoms 
of sodium. Now, you already know that in one mole, we are going to have what? We are going to have what? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 uh, moles of that sodium. Is that okay? Now, how many grams um, are in the... Okay, we, we don't even need the mass because... So this is basically or technically useless. Because in one mole, we have this. So how many moles will contain this amount of atoms? 6.9.03 times 10 to the power 23. Are you guessing what I'm doing? That is, how to, that is how to answer the question. You are giving this number per mole. Per mole, you have this amount of, amount of atoms. So in this place, you are not giving this amount of atoms. How many moles would that be? Is that okay? So you basically do what? X will be equal to what? This divided by this, that will be 9.03 by 10 to the 23rd over 6.02 by 10 to the what? 23rd. So we just takes care of this, and we have what? 9.03 divided by 6.002, and that gives you 1.5. So x is equal to 1.5 moles, and that is the, that is the final answer. All right, now let's solve number five, which is quite like the easiest there. But it doesn't seem like the easiest, isn't it? All right, so you're going to see where I'm going to solve it. Very simple. It's very simple. All right. Number five says that calculate the mass of calcium that contains the same number of atoms as eight grams of carbon. Now, you don't stress yourself. It's very simple. It says calculate the mass of calcium that will contain the same number of atoms as eight grams of carbon. Now, the standard is one mole of carbon will contain the same amount of atoms as one mole of calcium. Let me repeat that. I said one mole of carbon will contain the same amount of mass as what? One mole of calcium, isn't it? I repeat that. One mole of carbon will contain the same amount of atoms as one mole of calcium. You already know that, right? Good. So if one mole of, and what is one mole of carbon? One mole of carbon is 12 grams of carbon, isn't it? Why one mole of calcium is what? 40 grams. You see what I just did? Since one mole, one mole of carbon will contain one mole of this guy, will contain the same amount of atoms as one mole of this guy, isn't it? One mole of every substance is always this 6.0 to isn't it? So it means that it is when this, um, it is, it is 12, carbon, 12 grams of carbon and 40 grams of carbon of calcium that will contain the same what? Amount of mass, okay? So amount of um, atoms. So what do you now do? You now ask, you are now asked that what mass of calcium will now contain the same amount of atoms as 8 grams? If 12 grams contains 40, is equal to 40 grams in number of atoms, therefore 8 grams will be equal to what? As simple as that. And then you cross multiply and you have 8 by 40 over 12. 4 year 2, 4 year 3. So you have 40 over 3. Now what is 40 over 3? That will give us 12 point something. That is 40 divided by. 13.3. All right. So the answer is 13.3 grams. And that is the final answer. All right. Now, um, this will be it for this video on mole concepts. In the next video, we're going to be treating uh, more concepts on mole now and, and uh, um, volume. We're going to do mole mass and volume relationships when it, um, I mean, we'll be, that will be dealing with gases. All right. See you there. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, please. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow and extend this video to your friend that you know it will help. God bless you.